Hello all. I hope all of you are doing good. So let's continue our today's topic. Our today's topic is 16 fields of pricing procedure. So pricing procedure or called the consist condition technique is consist of five different approaches or five different steps. So in 16 field pricing procedure, whenever we are defining the pricing procedure, then these 16 fields comes into the picture. So what are these 16 fields? We'll get to know one by one each in the detail. So first one is the step. So a step is actually the sequence of the condition types. So there is a pricing procedure where we are having this first field, which decides the, the condition types sequence. So suppose in a pricing procedure, uh, a basic value or let's say MRP comes first, then comes the calculation of taxes, then surcharges and etc. So it will decide like which condition type will fall in the which sequence or where. Second one is the counter. This is more or same if there is there are steps uh, which is not there and we have consumed a lot of all the steps counts. So we can create some space between the two steps. The third one comes the condition type. In B slash 06, we define the condition types, which the arrangement of the condition type we put into the pricing procedure. So the fourth one comes out the description. So whatever the description we have given for a particular condition type in B slash 06 while creating the condition type that comes automatically into the pricing procedure once we decide or define the condition types. The fifth one would be from, from and to, fifth and sixth. So from and to will decide or will help to determine the base value for calculating the condition type. So suppose we are calculating the net value and we have, we have given the values in from and to let's say 45 to 50. <clears throat> So whatever condition types would be there till 50 from starting from 45 to 50, the calculation, whatever we have uh, defined into the controls of condition type. So the calculated value of that will be coming to the condition type and that will be decided using from and to. The seventh one is manual. So if it is ticked, then user have to enter the value manually into the sales document. And all the header conditions are manual only. So we are not creating the condition records using VK11 for the header conditions. So for line for item conditions as well, we can set is at manual. The eighth one would be required. So if it is stick, that means system will not allow to save the sales document if the condition type is missing. So if suppose it is not manual and we have not created the condition record and we have ticked the required. So if it is missing, then it won't allow you to save. The ninth one is statistical which means there are two effects of these. The first one, if it is statical, a particular condition type is statistical, then there would be no effect on the net value and there would be no postings, no counting post, no count postings are there. The 10th one would be print. So in this case, there are multiple parameters are there to select. So it is basically used to print the condition type to the output document. So there are few controls which you can explore by yourself. The 11th one is subtotal. So it will be used the, to store the value of condition type in some temporary tables. And this field and tables and field for the purpose of further calculation. 
so uh, there are uh, like for free goods it is 55 the 12th one is requirement or we can say routine so it's condition which system will check every time while determining the condition type into the sales document so we can create any routine it depends on what is the customer requirement the 13th one is alternate calculation type so we are using this alternate calculation type if we want the system to calculate the condition type value which is not standard or we do not want it to be determined using the condition record so it's a basically a formula which we are where we are creating the logic to determining the condition type value the 14th one is alternate base type so same way if the base value of condition type is not standard and we this is this is again a kind of formula uh, where we are putting some logic to getting the base value of the condition type determined into the sales document the fifth one is accounting key which usually a fi consultant will provide to you it's a it's one of the parameter to determine the revenue gl account when we are posting the uh, invoices value into the accounting document the 16th one is accruals accruals is mostly uh, mainly used in rebate settlement so accruals means that we are actually keeping some amount aside from each transactions into some provisional account or some dummy account to meet the future requirement of rebate settlement yeah uh, so these are the 16 field which we are using in pricing procedure you can easily get through them and can explore them by the result yeah thank you thank you very much please subscribe like share and comment and we'll soon coming up with a very interesting topic so stay tuned yeah thank